Good morning, peeps. How y'all doing? Sunday morning. Getting ready for church. Well, not getting ready yet, but um, I'm up and around and cooking me some breakfast. Y'all know what this is. My little sausage patty. Y'all know what I'm making. If you've been following me for any length of time, right? <laughs> Over here is my piece of cheese waiting for my English muffin to get out of the toaster. So y'all know what I'm having. My fast. I usually have this on Sunday mornings. Y'all look here. I got some little tiny succulent plants. Aren't they cute? This poor one here fell out of my basket two or three times and dirt went flying. And there's my new light, y'all. Wish you could see it. It puts out some pretty good light. I've got a daylight bulb in it. And it's not... It's really bright and clean light, I guess you'd call it. Oh, yeah. Also, I've got my crock pot. Huh. See? Screwdriver right by the crock pot. <laughs> you can tell we're still working on things. Anyway, I've got my um, crock pot on low just heating up some barbecued ribs that i put in the crock pot yesterday but we ended up not needing them for dinner and do y'all remember these there's my meds y'all y'all remember these um top old timey i don't know 70 or 80s tupperware lettuce keepers they have this tray in the bottom to keep the lettuce um hang on my stuff's popping up over here to keep the lettuce from getting soggy on the bottom so I get my thing at my English muffin out and put my cheese on it while it's hot and take it over here and this is about ready I think let's see yep about ready I need to switch hands here turn off our burner and we're going to put this on here. And we are done. So, okay. So it's done. That's what I usually have on Sunday mornings. Quick and easy. So, hi, hon. <laughs> so, we'll be getting ready for church here in a, just a little bit. And I'll probably talk to y'all after church. Bye. Hello, hello. Happy Sunday. <clears throat> we just had a wonderful service this morning. Um, we didn't have Sunday school because we had a big events last night. So we got to go in a little later and just have service at 1030. We're back. We just had lunch. Um, okay, so yesterday, I think I mentioned, if y'all watch my video, that I had cooked a crock pot of country-style ribs and barbecue sauce, and we ended up not needing them because we found out they were having a big dinner at this graduation event we went to. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so I just put them in the fridge, and we heat, I put them on low today while we went to church and come back. And took them out of the crock pot and shredded them up. And uh, we toasted some hot dog, I mean, uh, hamburger buns. And put them on our buns. And oh, you guys, it was so good. It was really good. Well, quick, fast. Um, way better than sandwiches, which we would normally have. <laughs> I don't cook a lot on Sundays. Um, because I don't like to cook. And then you have to get up early and do all this prep and stuff you know, start your crock pots and all that stuff. And my husband loves to invite people over. Right now our house is just too messed up. We can't have anybody over. Or I, my husband would probably say, oh yeah, just move that off the table. and we'll have People over. Not me. <laughs> but anyway, um, it was really good lunch. 
So I was gonna go take a nap, but I thought I'm gonna go sit outside for just a minute and, sorry, this is a really weird angle, but my arm's getting tired. I'm gonna go sit outside for just a few minutes and sit in my chair. I was hoping it wouldn't be too hot. It's not too hot as long as you're in the shade. So anyway, so what'd y'all do this morning? You got plans for today? Um, we don't really have any plans, usually on Sundays. Uh, we used to go out to eat sometimes on Sundays with our friends. Um, but now the rest, you know, with the restaurant situation and all, we, we haven't really gone out together as a church group. But, so now we usually, Sundays are usually just, you know, come home, have lunch, take a nap, and go back to church. And then come home and get my jammies and have my, I love Sunday night after church. It's like I've got Sunday, all this busyness of Sunday behind me, and I'm getting to relax. <laughs> I need to switch hands, y'all. Hang on. <laughs> my arm's going to fall off. <laughs> so I'm not very good at holding it in my left hand. But anyway, so we don't usually uh, have, you know, plans on Sundays unless we go to someone's house or go out to eat or something unusual. So um, I've been trying to think what I can get my granddaughter, Chloe. For her graduation present i don't know her she's graduating i think we're gonna have a little deal for her soon but um <clears throat> anyway i don't know what to get her so uh she's graduating a year early but anyway oh Sorry, my son's texting me. Anyway, so y'all let me know in the comments what y'all did today on Sunday. What you, if your life has really changed on Sundays much, or if you are back to kind of normal. We're back to kind of normal, except for like going out to eat. Um, I think I'm going to have to sneeze, y'all. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hang on. Hang on. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've told y'all all these times, huh? I come outside and, oh no, I think we're again. <laughs> no. My allergies go crazy when I come outside. So, that's despite taking an allergy pill. But anyway, I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> so, I may have to edit this video or start over. Oh, hang on, there's a mosquito on me. This video is not turning out good, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm getting attacked. I'm sneezing. But look, it's all clear skies under my tree. This is a pecan tree. We've had it here many years. We put it here as a little tiny sapling and it's grown. Um, I don't know that it's actually produced any pecans before. But I think it's a pecan tree. Um, needs some trim work done on it. <clears throat> well, I thought my hubs might come out and sit with me. But, apparently not. So I may go in the house here in a few minutes and take a nap. I love me a good Sunday nap. Oh, it feels so good. Somehow in my brain, y'all, I have given myself permission that it's okay to take a nap on Sundays. And so I can go in there and usually I can pretty well quickly go to sleep. <clears throat> Not any time during the week. On weekday, if I want to take a nap, if I get really sleepy, if I feel bad, I don't feel too bad laying down. But if I just get sleepy and I want to take a nap, I kind of feel like it's not okay to take a nap, you know, just, I mean, I will if it gets really severe that I'm just super sleepy or something but some reason in my mind on the weekdays you're not supposed to take a nap <laughs> but on Sundays it's okay so it is a day of rest right so maybe I take it literally like it's the day of rest but anyway I love me a good Sunday nap oh just feels so good and uh I don't know if y'all are used to taking naps on Sundays, but I know a lot of my friends do too. But they're usually in the older crowd. <laughs> I 
I guess I'm in the older crowd now, 56. <clears throat> I was saying... I was saying in my, I testified this morning at church, and I was saying that I got saved at 15 years old and how I changed my life. And sorry, all that mosquito bites. I was making sure it wasn't another mosquito. Um, how it changed my life, and I'm 56 years old now, and how it has been the best decision I ever made in my whole life. And I wouldn't want to live any other way <clears throat> than this way that I live. It's a peaceful way. If you have peace in your heart, you can't ask for more than that, to have peace in your heart. And uh, I think one of the songs we sang this morning said something about, um, oh, I can't think of the song or the words right now. But it was about having like peace in the calm of a, st having peace and calm in the storm. <clears throat> the, all that stuff going on around us, all the rioting, all the stuff that's going on around us. It is concerning, you know, on a physical level, but, you know, that's not the things I'm thinking about. It's the things, I mean, they do come to the surface because it's the news right now. It's what's happening right now, but that's not my life. I have peace and calm in the midst of the storm. And, you know, that's kind of like the riots, rioting last night that happened was an hour away from me. It's up where my husband works and uh, not really the area he works, but Oklahoma City, he works there. <clears throat> He's supposed to be going back to work tomorrow, y'all. But that's kind of a distance away, but so it's not quite so hard. But the storms of life, they come to us personally. The storms of life now to have peace and calm in the midst of that <clears throat> is worth it all. And I'm not saying that you're not worried. It's like we we still haven't got our unemployment yet, you know. And if now if, if we didn't have the money to float us through this, we would be in dire straits. We would probably have to be borrowing money from people to pay the bills. I don't know what we'd be doing. But <clears throat> I'm sorry, y'all. After I sneeze, now I've got phlegm in my throat. <clears throat> but sometimes storms of life come around that are um, hard, really hard. And they're personal to us, you know, whatever is happening in our real immediate life. And going, you'll, you can go through those without God, or you can go through those with God. Huge difference in how you're going to get through that. Um, and I'm so glad I never regretted, never regretted, not once getting saved and living this life. Now, <clears throat> When I say living this life, I mean, this is, well, I don't know if y'all, y'all don't know, I guess if you're a, someone that doesn't know me, I go to the church of God. Now, all church of gods aren't the same, um, but we don't just say we're Christians and then live any way we want. No, we walk the walk and talk the talk. Uh, it's a good life. It's a really good life. It's an easy life. It's not hard. Um, yes, you have to say no to the devil. Yes, you have to fight battles, spiritual battles. But the spiritual battles are usually in your mind, you know. <clears throat> it may be keeping a good attitude towards someone that said something to you. Um, it may be just fighting the battle that's tempting you to do something and saying you're telling the devil no, you know. But trust me, it's way better than actually just doing what you want to do, going out and doing the same thing that the devil's tempting you as a Christian to do, which I don't get much of that anymore. But, um, you know, trust me, if he was tempting me to go drinking alcohol, which I've never drank before, <laughs> I've tasted it one time, but. If he was tempting me to go drink alcohol and I'm doing this battle in my mind, well, really, it's not even a temptation to me, but say it was, okay, say maybe I had a past of that and it's a temptation to me and the devil's just won't let it go. He just like, right after, he just keeps on and keeps on just, and he makes opportunities where it'd be easy, you know, that kind of, and you're resisting that and you're telling the devil, no, I don't want to do that, you know, and you're, 
you're, you're making it stick and you don't give in to it. That is way easier than say that I wasn't saved and I just go out and got drunk and did whatever drunk people do and had a horrible wake up throwing up. Um, don't even know what I did last night. You know, that is a way worse way to live, a rougher way to live, not a happy way to live than just, <clears throat> than that temp fighting that little battle in your head and telling the devil no. I'd much rather do that <laughs> because I don't have the scars. I don't have the scars of living that kind of life. It could, and you know, I just mentioned alcohol because it's what popped in my head, but you know, it could be anything, you know. So God expects us to live a clean, holy life and he gives us the power to do that. And this is y'all's sermon for the day if you didn't go to church. <laughs> um, I hear people say all the time, my, um, I've been saved 41 years and I've hear people say all the time, Oh, you know, they say they're a Christian and they just go live any old way they want to. But boy, something come up and they'll be praying for you and they'll be needing prayers. And that's, you know, I know people need prayers and all that. I'm just saying all of a sudden they're, they're back a Christian again. And their last post, well, they had cuss words in it. They were cursing in it or they were, you know, showing them drinking alcohol or something like that. That's not, that's not being a Christian, y'all. I'm sorry. That's not being a Christian. They say, well, you know, I just give in from time to time, or I just do the best I can. No. God expects more than that. You know why? Because he put it, he's, he, his son died on the cross. And that blood that ran out of Jesus' side, that he shed for all of our sins, it's more powerful than just, I'm doing the best I can. It's more powerful than that. This doing the best you can, y'all, my arm's going to sleep. <laughs> Sorry. And when I try to hold it the other way, my finger gets in front of the camera. Jesus' blood is more powerful, powerful than that. I know so many people, hundreds of people, probably more than that, that have the same testimony that you can live without giving in to those sins that you, that you think you have to do. You don't have to do them. So many people say, Lord, if you'll forgive me this time, I'll never do it again. And you know what? Next Friday night, they're back at the bar again. They don't really, in their heart, they don't really want to be there. But their flesh likes it. Right? Their flesh likes it. Um, so, they end up, dry, the devil gets the, grabs that ring in their nose and pulls them back to the bar. They may not want to go there. They know it's not the best place for them. They may have told their wife, I ain't going back there. But you know what? If they aren't really saved, they don't have the power to say no. But if you get saved and you let God cleanse that out of your heart, then the next time that you get tempted, next Friday night comes up or whatever night you used to go to the bar. I don't know why I'm picking alcohol today, but that's just the way it is. Um, you have the power to say no. You'll be tempted. Oh, you'll be tempted. But Jesus' blood, when he really saves your soul and you really mean it, okay? And you're not going to a church that just tells you do the best you can, but one that upholds the word of God to where you don't have to sin anymore. If you go to a church like that, there's a huge difference y'all in the church that you go to. If you go to a church that says, the, the preacher says he's sinning every day, or he's saying, just do the best you can, and we all sin every day, you guys, that is not what the Bible teaches. That's not what the Bible teaches at all. Um, <laughs> you're not gonna make it to heaven like that, guys. I'm, I mean, I'm not sorry to say it, but I'm sorry to say it because somebody needs to tell you the truth. You need to read the Bible. You need to go to 1 John 3 or Romans 6. You need to read these things. And let me tell you, you may th this may be blowing your mind to hear that you don't have to give in to those sins anymore. Maybe you've never heard that before. But it is, 
I can promise you, if you go, we'll find a congregation that preaches this. And the people are really living it every day. And you get into that and don't go to a church that's just saying what I said before about giving in all the time and the preacher says he sins and all that. You're being fed by a false prophet. You guys need to find a true congregation um, that people are really living what they say. Because that makes a huge difference. You are what you are fed. Okay, so if you're going, if you're getting fed, oh, we all sin, we just do the best we can, and that's what you're going to be. You know what? That's what you're going to be. But it doesn't line up with the Word of God. So you, you need to find a congregation. If you really want to live for God, okay, Some people, a lot of people are just playing around. They like to just be able to say they're a Christian, but then they live any old way they want to. Sorry, thought I heard something. But anyway, that was y'all's message for the day. If you didn't get to go to church, you could just tune in right here. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to have to go, y'all. I'm afraid my phone's going to cut off. Who do you want to send it to? Oh, hang on. Siri's talking to me. <laughs> Sorry, my watch went off. Um. Anyway, I'm going to go take a nap now, I think, and enjoy this breeze for a few minutes. And... I'll probably see y'all after church tonight. So if you have any questions or anything, just put them in the comments. See y'all later. Hello, it's after church, Sunday night. Uh, we already came home and had grilled cheeses with tomato soup for our evening meal um usually we just have a snack but well, that's what my husband wanted um we were both kind of hungry so it was good but uh i don't know if y'all are were raised dipping your grilled cheese in the soup in the tomato soup i was and i love to eat it like that sometimes we don't have it with soup if i have it though i make it but I have seen people tear their grilled cheese up and put it in their soup. I don't know if I could do that. It seemed like it get too soggy too fast. <laughs> but anyway, it was pretty good. So we didn't have a really exciting day or anything. Um, I took tried to take a nap. Uh, I got a little nap, I think, but I kept waking up because things were bothering me. My leg was hurting, different things. and. I kept waking up, but I do know I dreamed a little, so I know I got a little bit of sleep. So, I just got through shipping out some packages from the weekend and filing my unemployment. Woohoo! <laughs> this should be the last week we have to file, I'm hoping. My husband's supposed to go back to work in the morning, and hopefully that will hold and they'll have plenty of work and he won't have to be furloughed anymore. Uh, they, he has been told that he has plenty of, they have plenty of work for June, July, and August. So that is good news, and I hope that that's still true. So I'm kind of looking forward to tomorrow, getting back into my normal routine. Uh, we've had, most of May has not been my normal routine. My husband only worked one week in May. So I'm hoping to get back in my normal routine tomorrow. Um... It's, it's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's comforting to be in your routine. You know what I'm saying? When you're not in a routine, I'm like, is this what it's like when you retire? It's like every day is like, you don't know what day it is hardly, and you don't have a plan. And <laughs> um, I know back in 2018, my husband was off work for six months. And that's how it was. It was like a, actually... Um, it was like a little vacation. I mean, it was like being off work for six months. It's like, wow, I don't have to work. You know, <laughs> we had checks coming in. We had, then we, we had 14 weeks of checks coming in and then we went on unemployment and, um, it was like not having to work. Kind of like being retired. But anyway, I don't know. 
Um, my husband still has several more years to work before he can retire. So what did y'all do today on Sunday? Um, I kind of preached at y'all a little bit earlier in my earlier video. Um, I apologize if I apologize, but I don't apologize if it was a little too hard. <laughs> but um, sometimes, you know, you're just I'm just talking along about something and then it gets a little serious or it gets more, you know, you start wanting to tell what's on your heart or whatever. So um, I hope you got some good from it. Um, if you have any questions or you would like to be able to get information how to find a congregation like I was talking about, um, you can, um, well, I would say you'd email me, but I don't think I have my email on my YouTube channel. Um, I don't know if I do or not. I'll have to see. Um, or you could put it in the comments. Um, but I would prefer to keep it uh, private for different reasons. Um, but anyway, uh, I appreciate uh, Sundays. I like Sundays. My body don't like Sundays. My soul likes Sundays. <laughs> um, we all need fed spiritually and physically. Our bodies need fed. Our hearts and souls need fed. Uh, we need the Word of God every, well, as much as possible. Uh, you see in my, so, a lot of times I don't show it, but I do have devotions every day. Um, the only time I don't have devotions is if I have to, an emergency happens, you have to run out the door. Somewhere in that day, I will squeeze it in as far as at least praying, you know. Um, because we need, we need that contact with God. We need that communion with God, the, the communication back and forth. Um, but anyway, um, I'm, the video that I've been uploading that I started last night when I went to bed is only at like 50 something percent today. I think it's a kind of longer video and I don't know why, if that's what's causing it to take so long, but this is going to be one of those two nighter things it's going to set me another day behind I think unless my internet just picks up speed really fast because I think it's going to take to all tonight too because it's only 50 percent so but anyway so I am working on y'all's videos I don't forget I get I get these done and I enjoy doing them um I do wish people would let me know if they're watching them or maybe they can share them in your on your Facebook page it would help me a lot um, to have some people that aren't just family and friends, you know, to follow my channel. So, well, I'm going to go, I'm, I, I got all that stuff done, the shipping and the filing for the week. I was surprised I got through. Thank the Lord I got through. It was so stressful last week when I couldn't get through. But, um, I'm hoping that we get our card this week. Uh, something to look forward to because... <laughs> But then we owe on our taxes, so that's coming up to probably eat up all of our unemployment. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm going to play my game for a while and check out what's going on. I know they've been having riots in Oklahoma City, an hour from me. I don't know what's going on. I don't, really don't like to tune in to that negativity for very long. I will, if it's something like that, that really the only reason I've kind of watched it a little bit is because it's it's so close to home and I know you know I know the area and it's effect, it could be affect us you know it could affect my like my husband has to go to work to Oklahoma City tomorrow it's not anywhere around where he works he works on the far side of the city but um if you tune into that negativity you're lowering your vibration and your frequency by just constantly watching the negative watching the negative um that's not good for you it lowers your frequency the lower your frequency is the more sick and diseased you can be we need to raise our frequency and vibration think on good things think on happy things not this stuff that's going on it's all negative so if you are constantly watching that i urge you to Turn it off and go do something else. Go do something fun. 
Go out in nature, put your feet in the dirt, the grass, um, ground yourself, let some of that flow flow away into the earth because it will, it will absorb it to, from you. Um, it helps, it really does. And being out in nature is very relieving to us as humans. Um, I know this may sound woo-woo to some of y'all, but it's a known science fact. The trees, everything has a, vi uh, a frequency. Everything, okay? So the trees, the grass, every, nature itself, running water, whatever, like in a stream or whatever, it all has a frequency, and it's a higher frequency. And when you're out and about in it, and also something about us humans is made up the smell of nature, being out in nature and breathing the fresh air and all that, it does things in our brain and it helps our body to relieve stress. It's very relaxing. Of course, if you're getting eat up with mosquitoes like I do because they love me, it's not very relaxing, but it is good for us. So I urge you to do that because just dwelling on this negativity that's all rampant right now is not good for us. It's not good for us spiritually. It's not good for us, our health. It's not good for our mental health. Um, so, uh, good vibes only. Okay. That's what I like to say. Good vibes only. So, all right, y'all, I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Hopefully this vi uh, video I'm working on for y'all tonight, you did not get a video uploaded today. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do about it. I can't, I can't rush the upload. So I will get it to you as soon as it's done. So I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>